Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight we are working in Grade 5 on Module 3, Lesson Number 4. And tonight we are adding fractions with sums between 1 and 2. So previously we've done very similar work, but usually we've ended up with answers that have been um, below 1. Today we're definitely going to end up with answers that are larger than 1, so more than 1 whole. So this will mean simplifying our improper fractions into mixed numbers. Uh, we got a little bit of practice with that before, but we'll get more practice tonight. Let's take a look at a couple problems from tonight's homework. Problem number one. Directions are fairly complicated. Let's see. For the following problems, draw a picture using the rectangular fraction model and write the answer. When possible, write your answer as a mixed number. And our problem here is one-third plus three-fifths. And so I'm noticing right away that this one is in thirds and this one is in fifths, and that means we don't have the same unit, so we can't just do simple addition right across the top. So let's go ahead and do our fraction model. Let's see. We've got one over here. This is a whole. And let's see, we're going to do this in thirds. So we're going to partition our model into thirds, and we're going to shade in one of those. So I'm going to label that here below. That's one third. And then our second add-in, let's see, we've got another fraction model. Let's see, again, that's one whole. And this time we're going to partition horizontally, and it looks like we're going to do fifths, but we're going to shade in three of them. So we need to go ahead and partition one, two, three, four, five. And then let's go ahead and shade in three of the five sections there. Awesome. Oh, let me look ahead and label that too. That's three-fifths right here. Excellent. So now we've partitioned these vertically in thirds. So let's partition the same one horizontally in fifths. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. That's cr that creates fifteenths. And then on this one, we've already done it horizontally in fifths. So let's do it vertically in thirds to match what we had over here. Vertically in thirds will go like that. And we'll also create 15s, right? Here we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Here we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Yep, that's exactly what we should have, right? And let's see, now we can express 1 third as 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the 15 boxes are shaded. 5 15 is the same as 1 third. And over on this one, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 15 are shaded here as well. Awesome. So let's see. Can we add across? 5 fifteenths, 9 fifteenths. Oh, now they're in the same units. They're in the same fifteenths, right? So 5 plus 9 is 14. And it's 14 fifteenths. And hey, despite the fact that we were told we were going to be starting to add up to numbers greater than 1, this one wasn't. Unbelievable. It was still less than 1, 14 fifteenths. Uh, so we're already done. Fantastic. All right, it's a little easier than we thought. Let's take a look at one problem. This one's actually a story problem, so we're going to use our read, draw, and write strategy. Let's go ahead and do the reading. First of the general directions and then of the specific problem. Solve the following problems. This is for problems number two and three. Draw a picture and write the number sentence that proves the answer. Simplify your answer if possible. And here's our question. Sam made two-thirds liter of punch and three-fourths liter of tea to take to a party. How many liters of beverages did Sam bring to the party? So it looks like it's a pretty straightforward number sentence, right? Two-thirds plus three-fourths. But again, we have that same problem that we always have when we have mixed units, right? These are in thirds, and these are in fourths, and we know we can't add unlike units like that together. So let's do a couple of fractional models to get into the like units. So let's see. Two-thirds. We're going to partition this diagram into thirds. One, two, right? That's three three parts, all thirds, and then we're going to shade in, I guess, two of those. Let's see, we'll shade that in. That is two-thirds, right there. Now we've got another fractional model. We're going to partition that horizontally, right? And oh, we're going to partition it into four parts. So that's one, two, three, four parts. And again, we're shading in three of our four parts. So we'll shade in like that, and that means that this is three-fourths. And then we need to do the same thing that we've, do, that we've done in all of our fractional model problems, right? Since we've already partitioned this vertically into thirds, we need to look at this one and match the same horizontal partitions into fourths. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. And on this one, we already had it horizontally into four parts. We need to do vertically into three parts. So one, two, three. And that tells me if I count up either one of these models, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're in twelfths. I'm going to have twelfths plus twelfths, right? That's the whole point of doing these models, is to end up with the same number of, of subdivisions, right? Same number of small blocks that make up a whole. 
So in this model, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 twelfths. And that makes sense because I know that 2 thirds and 8 twelfths are equivalent fractions. And on this one, instead of 3 fourths, we now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 twelfths. Awesome. 8 twelfths plus 9 twelfths, or excellent, good news, we're in twelfths. So 8 plus 9 is 17 twelfths. And I'm noticing something about 17 twelfths. I'm noticing that that's made up of 12 twelfths plus, let's see, if 12 twelfths are over here, then there'd be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think that'd be 5 more twelfths would be over here. So I can express 17 twelfths as one whole, that's 12 twelfths, and 5 twelfths, 1 and 5 twelfths. Awesome. I didn't note that we had done our drawing here, but we got to get to our writing, right? Because we have a, a question that was asked, an English language question. How many liters of beverages did Sam bring to the party? Okay, so I'm going to say here at the bottom, Sam, whoops, Sam brought 1 and 5 twelfths liters of beverages to the party. Tremendous. Very generous of Sam to bring that much. And I think we're done with our problem. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.